Hey, what's up, productivity junkies? Darren Persinger here. Beginning of a new business month. New opportunities for uh, you to succeed, for you to achieve your goals. And let's talk a little bit about why accountability fails. All right? I know that there's probably a lot of coaches, a lot of trainers, a lot of people telling you that if you're not accomplishing what you want to do, you have to find accountability. The problem is, well, if you haven't figured out by now, whatever a lot of coaches and trainers are saying, I'm probably saying the opposite. Just if you haven't figured that out, that's just kind of the way I roll. Luckily, I found someone who's on my side. Susan Scott, a little bit of a mentor of mine. Admire her greatly. In her book, Fierce Leadership, here's what she says about accountability. The fact is, is that no one can mandate accountability for another person. To say, I'm holding you accountable is pointless. The only person I can hold accountable is myself. The only person that can hold you accountable is yourself. Now, as your coach, as your consultant, I can't do that. I can't hold you accountable. If you don't want to do something, you won't do it. And then the other part of accountability is the ability. If you're not able, if you're not capable, you won't do it. You'll find excuses. So here's what I want you to look at doing for the next month to really beef up your business. Number one, make sure you're able and capable of doing this. If, like for example, if you say, I'm going to go start a blog, but you know, don't know how to set up a blog, you don't know what to blog about, you're not actually able or capable, right? So first, make sure you're able and capable of doing that. If you're not, find someone, a coach, that can help make that process move along faster and easier. Number two, Set up a system for awareness. I'm a big believer that awareness is what makes you accountable. Uh, if you're trying to lose weight, you have a scale that makes you aware of what's happening, right? Look to set up a system of awareness so that what you're trying to accomplish, what you're able and capable of doing is in your face. It's top of mind all the time. And then number three, eliminate distractions. Get everything else out of your way. If this is a goal that's important to you, that you're able and capable of doing, that you've set up a system to make you aware, you need to get rid of everything else that doesn't matter. The reason why we fail too many times is because of so many distractions running at us. Make sure you're able and capable, set up a system for awareness, and eliminate distractions. Make May awesome.